Mark Taylor, Dream Given October 20, 2023 I was walking down a road into a town, on Main Street. It was a dreary overcast day, as a matter of fact the pavement was wet and there was a few snowflakes falling. But I did not feel the cold or the wet. I went down a side street around back of this building. There was a ramp slash incline down to a door in this building. I walked up to door, gray door, and opened it and entered the lower level of this building. I walked down the hallway toward another gray door. At that door I turned a faced an archway into another hall. I saw men dressed in battle slash combat fatigues with helmets on and packs upon their backs marching down this hall. Fatigues were army green. The word staging came to mind, they were staging. I wondered what was going on. In the next room over, on the other side of that hallway I saw police personnel, white shirts with the silver stars pinned to chest and black pants and also people dressed in black trousers with blue polo shirts, I knew these were support staff. As I stood there watching all these soldiers going down this hall I kept saying to myself I got to get out of here before they notice me. Then it was as if I could see through the wall of the building back into the alley behind the building, I saw another door open and watched as soldiers came out then behind them was a man and a woman in dress clothes. The women had on a white dress and the man had on a dark suit and was carrying a soft-sided briefcase, it was brown. Around these two were men in black suits with sunglasses on and behind them were more soldiers. I then switched back to the hallway I was in and turned to the door to make my escape but it had only a lock with no handle. Four women in blue polos came toward me and unlocked the door and I followed them outside. I made my way back to Main Street and then down a street to an alley street. I stood there wondering how I was going to get out of town when I saw a man on a motorized bike coming toward me. He was dressed in dress clothes and wore glasses. Reminded me of someone that others would call a geek, he stopped and said he would give me a ride. I got on and we rode out of town on this expressway, four lanes, two in each direction. A ways out of town the man took the service road that runs beside the expressways. We ended up at this machine. It was a dull colored orange shaped like a bowling pin but in two parts. There were weeds and debris grown up around it, it had been there a long, long time. There was a thick black cord that ran from the square part to the part that looked like the top of a bowling pin, but it was not plugged in. I discerned that if plugged in it would build pressure and then either release something or explode. I noticed that a ways away from there, there was a small strip mall. As I thought about this machine and inspected it, I was thinking about how I could get a ways from this guy and tell someone about this machine. Then four other men came and the man that had given me a ride showed the machine to them, they were there to buy it. They made comments about how old it was and that it would need to be updated. The motorized bike man made the statement to the four men, I used to be a millionaire you know. I woke up. Two things that I discerned. That while I was in that building the people there could not see me, had no idea I was there and that this man that gave me a ride wanted me to see and know about these machines that had been put alongside major expressways a long time ago. Mark Taylor, 